Alex here, ASM 101. Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be going over some good installation techniques, seaming, clipping, 24 gauge panel. Let's go. Hey guys, Alex here, ASM 101. Today's video, I'm gonna go over some good practices when seaming together uh, two standing seam metal roof panels, specifically mechanical lock. We have 24 gauge pre-painted steel here. I have what we call a hand seamer. I'm gonna seam this panel. We'll show you how I do it. For just for demonstration purposes, I've, I've secured this side with a clamp and a screw up high. But I wanted to show you, first we have to clip this seam. That's what a clip looks like. There's two holes in each clip and each hole needs to have a screw. These are the screws that you use. These are one inch, your number 10 pancake head screws. And they sit on the clip like so. They sit nice and flat. So when the next panel gets installed, the head of the screw doesn't poke the underside of the panel and dent upward. Okay, so let's do, we're just gonna install this clip just like this. It needs to be sitting right tight against the seam like this. And then we can get our screw in. like that. Reason why you want that to touch, so when the next panel comes and gets installed, if this is sticking out, it could push that panel over and throw you out of square. Okay, and then we're getting a screw every six, uh, 18, 20 inches down. Now up from the bottom, we get a clip about six inches up from the bottom. You don't wanna be down here because you don't typically know what's under here. Maybe the, the plywood hasn't uh, come all the way down and you're really only screwing into the front edge of this plywood. You want good gripping wood to screw into, good solid wood. So we're about six inches up from the bottom, ensuring that we have good solid wood we're screwing into. Now to keep panels from sliding down the roof, right? Because this is just sitting loose inside that clip. What we do is we get our snips and we cut a little sliver of metal just above, just like this. And I, I fold it over with my snips. And I hammer it down like that. This way, if I were to pull down on this metal right now, that is gonna prevent the panel from sliding down. Now we can move on to installing the next panel. This female edge goes over top of the male edge, like so. Might have to give it a little tap down, but that sits right on top of the edge of the last panel you put on. One thing I suggest you stay away from is clamping these seams together, right? Look, it's very tempting to put a clamp on it like that to keep it in place while you screw the clips on the next edge there. The reason why I say don't clamp your seams is because it's taking away, so imagine you, you clamp it and you clip it here. Those clips are now pushing against that panel and you release this. There's supposed to be a small space between these panels for movement to allow for side expansion and contraction. If you clamp this, you take that space away, you clip it over on this side, you've now taken away the room it needs to expand and contract. So, I don't clamp it. When a standing seam panel is on the seam, it's not gonna go anywhere. First thing I do when I install a panel, first of all, I let it sit where it wants to. You don't wanna push this panel into a position it doesn't wanna be in. That's where you start to get buckling and unnecessary oil canning. How we avoid that is we let the panel sit where it wants to. That means this seam was when it came out of the machine. So what we need to do now is, as it's sitting here just like this, we get a clip on it just like this. That clip is now sitting in alignment with where the panel wants to be. We're not for, this clip isn't forcing the panel to be somewhere where it doesn't want to be. So now I'll, bef before anyone starts walking on it, I'll, I'll snip the clip and that's not gonna slide down on me and I can clip the rest of the panel, whether it's a 20 foot or 30 foot long panel, I can now clip the rest of the panel. Guys can walk on it. This 
little snip trick uh, will allow me to do that. Let's get to seaming this panel. The guys over at Storts and Sons were, uh, were generous enough to send over their most popular seaming tool. It's the, the Begatech PVC jaw two-stage seamer. So this PVC jaw is really nice for, for painted product. It eliminates a lot of unnecessary scratching and marring that uh, that happens with normal seamers. So this this back 90 here sits on the back side of the seam right there, like so. And then this crushes over, folds that and crimps that panel right over. So you see how this hand isn't moving very much. I'm maintaining it seated on the seam just like that. I'm not I'm not going like this. The the seamer doesn't work well like that. So when you have it on you want this handle to stay out like this and kind of move this handle. Once you get better at it, you're, you're gonna get more of a flow, but so once we have that, we crush the seam and that's seamed over. You can see how this handle isn't going anywhere. Okay. So that's seamed over. If you haven't been here, subscribe, like the video. We do a ton of metal roofing content. And if you're installing this professionally or you're doing this DIY, we have a ton of videos where we go over a lot of standing seam processes. Suggest you check them out. Click here to check out the top 10 beginner tools that I suggest you should purchase before any standing seam metal roofing project. We'll see you over there.